Looking for amazing deals on the best new games? Check out G2A.com and use code FCG at checkout for a discount. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Day Shift at Freddy's. Now before the video starts, I gotta mention the second channel has started back up again and well already we have Dead Island, the definitive edition up on the channel with Daco. You guys know him, you guys know me. You guys saw the video yesterday if you didn't. That uh, well, you should probably go watch that. You'll be a little surprised, but yeah, go ahead and head over to the second channel. Also, something I've yet to announce anywhere else, but on this video is Outlast is actually me starting up on that channel too, either today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. But yeah, that'll also be starting up. So if you're looking for an Outlast playthrough with your boy Fusion, then go ahead over there. And if you're looking for a Dead Island playthrough with your boy Fusion and your boy Daco, head over there too. There'll be links in the description and an annotation on screen. But anyways, here we are back on Day Shift at Freddy's. Now, we have already put on the suit, and we are in the second day. Now, another problem I've kind of figured out here is why well, it's kind of the same problem I had before. The saving, it just doesn't seem to work for me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know, guys. I just can't seem to get it to save, so I keep having to replay the entire, like, first half of the game. But anyway, so here we are. Um, I did choose the same side I chose last time, which was to um, go ahead and go against the purple guy so we are not on his side we are saving the children we might do another playthrough if you guys really want to see that drop a like on the video i might do another one where i simply save the kids also i ran into this thing right here where i just continually okay no this is the first time i found a loose cigarettes and an old mattress i searched probably five or six times and i just kept finding stuff and uh well as you can see we're at like 238 fazbear tokens so we are set to go we still can't afford everything in the shop but i do want to head over there so we can perform um serve guests and cake why don't we do that serve guests cake so oh it's actually a mini game okay this is not what i expected um another thing is i don't know if this is like the only way i oh, know you can move around with the arrow keys but i figured out that if you actually click you can actually move around it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and serve these angry guests here some cake Oh god, these guys are getting angry. Okay, this is like a little mini game sort of thing. Okay, wait, do we have to hit all of them? This is so hard. They're like, okay, we got no. What? Would you just stay served, please? Oh, we get money for the. Okay, I thought we'd have to go to like the next room, but this is actually the game. Okay, well, how long does this last for exactly? <laughs> Am I just gonna continuously serve them cake? I mean, I kind of have enough tokens to do whatever I want with. So, <laughs> whatever. I guess, I mean, I guess the more tokens, the better. I was kind of hoping it was one of those games where like you have to get all of them you know unread before you like then it like finishes the level i don't know if that makes sense but all right so that's like a little mini game okay i didn't expect that why don't we search around here see if we can find anything we're probably not gonna find anything but you know we'll do it oh 49 like that's the thing like why even play the mini games when you can just search around and find stuff like that like it's so simple it's amazing anyways here we are in the prize corner this is always a good place to be we got our boy matt of course he's introducing himself again because like i said before i lost my old save file so uh, your smile unsettles, unsettles me, bro, all right? I'm just saying. So why don't we go ahead and view his wares here and see if we can purchase something. So we can actually purchase both of these, I think. I think we're at that 300 mark. So why don't we go ahead and purchase the wrench and purchase the firecracker. There we go. Now, wait, did I purchase both of them? I think I might only purchase one. No, I purchased both. Okay, so uh, why don't we go ahead and head out of here now? So leave your, your human in town. I don't know what that even means. Let's just search around your place. Let's see if we can just like find back the tokens we just gave him. Now we only found 10. All right, so we do need 350, I think, to actually buy that final item he has there, which I do want to know what that does, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get to that many tokens. That took me, uh, it was kind of difficult to find those, even though it was much easier than I thought it was going to be. So why don't we go ahead and leave um, while my human is intact? I still don't, I don't know what that is, but it sounds... It sounds like something that you want to have intact, I'm just saying. So why don't we go ahead and head to the kitchen here, see, because we haven't been here, I don't think. Actually, yeah, we did. We, we made some pizzas, and we actually delivered them. So we can prepare pizzas, which we don't want to do, because obviously we already did that. Um, we can check the inventory, go to another room. Why don't we go ahead and head there? We were just kind of waiting for this day to end, because obviously once we beat this day... Um, we actually get to go on to the next day, which I think is when we beat the game. I don't actually know. So we can enter the security office, which we already did. Enter the seal off room, need the key, which we do not have, I don't think. Oh, did we just... It kind of sounds like we're opening it, but we're not. Nope, we don't have the key. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the security office. I don't think we're missing anything in here. As you guys know, we got rocket launchered by the phone guy in the previous episode. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we really need anything in here. Now, we can go through these drawings again and put them on the wall. I'm not too sure if this actually does anything, but we'll do it anyways just to be sure. So, Oh, look, a dog. <laughs> I just love how he types stuff in this game, a doggo. or a, It's a doge, but, like, I don't know. Heck yeah, Dogo going up. Put him up. Yeah, just put him on the wall. Time for number two. Let's just put them all on the wall, all right? Oh, my God. Uh, let's, maybe we shouldn't put this one on the wall. Chica's a little freaky. Chica and Carl. Like, come on. Um, We'll just put it up anyways. Let's just have them all up on the wall, see if we can find where they are throughout the place. 
So there we go. Oh, bread bear. No, I... Mm, that... Mm, no, that is scary. I... Okay, yeah, just put him on the wall. I don't want... I don't want to see him on the wall, but just put him on the wall. Well, that's... Today's done. The pictures you chose should be up on the wall. Oh, so it changes each day. Okay, I didn't know about that. So we can watch the cameras. Obviously, we're just going to see purple guy like we saw in the last one. But I do want to make sure I don't miss anything here. So I'm just going to search it again. So nothing odd here. Because before we check this... Um, Robbing the prize corner. So before when we saw this, um, we hadn't talked to Purple Guy yet. So I thought maybe it might be different, but... Oh, the day's already over. Wow. I wasn't even paying attention to the time up there. All right. So we're already going on to the next day here. I've, I haven't been this far, so this is going to be pretty cool. Whatever happens here. So 6 p.m., guys. Let's see what happens. You say goodbye to the phone guy and leave. You don't remember seeing the mysterious... What? We saw him. We just saw... What? Okay. <laughs> Wait. Did that just say we leave through the window and head home? What? <laughs> okay. Maybe I read that wrong. I don't know. Tell me in the comment section down below. <laughs> this game is so like it's so random that it's just hilarious, man. All right, so now we are back in the building here with the brand new mini game. Get the bodies from the dumpster outside. Put them into the robots. Okay, so we're playing as a marionette. Holy crap! You move so fast as a marionette, dude. All right, so outside you'd figure the prize corner. Oh, okay. So where's outside? Oh, okay. Here's the dumpster. Okay, oh, we have to move each individual body? What the heck? Wait, where did it say to put him? I can't remember. Oh, crap. <laughs> this is what happens when you record and you're playing. You just, you don't really, you stop paying attention to things. Oh, it said put it in the body. Okay, let's see if we can find them, though. I don't even know. Oh, hey, can we give it to him? No, okay. <laughs> let's not give it to him. There's spring trap, though. All right, so I think it's actually, you'd figure it'd be in the center stage. Right now, we're not heading there, but I want to check, just to make sure we don't miss anything here. All right, so let's actually head back to the center stage here and uh, put these where they got to go in the suits. All right, so let's see here. Where you at? There you are. Here you go. I'm gone. See you later. I got to go get two more. Well, this is a little uh, little workout for the marionette, that's for sure. I got another body. Who just throws a body in a dumpster? Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, here's this thing that could instantly put me in jail if someone finds it. But, you know, let me just put it in this dumpster back here. All right, so I think we might need two more because Foxy is still in this area. I don't know if he's going to need a body or not. You'd figure he would, but I don't know. So we'll have to see if this finishes the game or finishes the night or not. So here we go. It's up here. And Chica, here's your body. Oh. What? The, oh, I think she said that thing that she said last time we talked to her. All right, so yeah, we're going to need a body for Foxy too. And uh, maybe another one for, I don't know, maybe another animatronic if we find one. Obviously, the only one that we saw in there was Bread Bear. Or, uh, it could be Fred Bear. I honestly don't know because this game is so random. But uh, let's go ahead and give this to Foxy here. There you go, brother. We got you, bro. All right, now what? Is there another animatronic I'm missing? Maybe, I think there's one down here. No, that was just a boy. Oh, something dark blocks you from entering this room. Ooh, that sounds creepy. And it was in purple text. What is that all about? pretty creepy honestly all right so we put them all in the suit so i'm not too sure what to do now um we might have missed one i'm gonna go grab another body and just see if we can put it somewhere okay so we can actually grab another body so where does this one oh okay and that ends that yeah i was kind of confused i was like wait a second we put all the bodies in all the suits except for you know the one that we saw before but so save i like how it's like it's a funny game but it has like such a serious like backstory <laughs> i don't know it's really weird oh we got that music change welcome back employee i hope you're ready for work today i cannot wait for 6 a.m <laughs> i love how you can just say whatever and he still is just like yeah 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 like he just goes along with it so uh just to update you oh it's Okay, so there's like voice acting for certain parts, like I said before. Okay. All right, just a precaution, guys. <laughs> He's just like using the things from the game. It's so funny. Uh, don't the company has been deemed the suits temporarily unfit for employees? I repeat. Wait, the classic suits are not to be touched, activated, or worn. That being said, we are free of liability, so do as you wish. Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't... Oh, crap. It's just to watch the play. Oh, okay. Make sure the robots are doing A-OK. -okay. Make sure the kids are happy and alive. So, we're just watching the play. Okay, so we do not put on the suits. So, I can't wear the death suits. We prefer it if you didn't. You still technically can. You just can't really sue 
us if you or a loved one die. See ya. And remember the company mod moto, sweep it under the rug, it's probably fine. Okay, so today we're not wearing a suit at all. We're just going to be walking around patrolling the place. Okay, cool. So that leaves up the next option, which is going to be that now we're going to have to be able to like explore the whole place and kind of figure out if there's anything new here. Because now we're not wearing a suit, we're just making sure the kids are alive. So we can't really prepare pizzas because we can't really do anything with the pizzas because we're not wearing a suit. So I'm kind of interested though, if we go to the dining area, what happens? Because we don't have a suit and we can't wear one. So are all the kids just like upset? No, so we can't do anything here. Okay, so let's go somewhere else. I do want to figure out, why don't we go ahead and head over to Pirate's Cove? No, no, oh, it's not Pirate's Cove, it's the main stage because, um, oh, there's the, <laughs> there's the pictures on the wall. Uh, I do want to put Bonnie's face back on. Pirate's Cove here really is really effing lame. Is that a salad bar I spy? What an effing waste this place turned out to be. So we've already been here before. You guys have seen this before. Um, so we can interact with Foxy, sample some salad. Uh, let's sample some sa salad. What? That's for customers only. What? All right, now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shove it in my mouth because I do not want to die. So let's interact with Foxy. We do not want to yiff him because oh I thought we could maybe repair him, but no. Um, talk to the fox. Let's talk to him. All right, interesting conversation. All right, let's leave <laughs> let's leave him alone. We can't do anything there unfortunately because we can't fix a broken heart. Thirty one tokens were found. Okay, that's kind of random. Um, so let's go ahead. Oh, I searched it. I thought it meant leave. I was like, that's kind of random just finding tokens like that. So why don't we go ahead and head over to the, um, let's go to the dining area, even though we've already been here, but I think this will link us up to go to other areas throughout the building here. So, uh, let's go somewhere else. Now, where is somewhere that we haven't been before? So the prize corner, we've been, we've purchased items from there. The office hallway, we, yeah, we've explored that. Pirates Cove, yeah. Show stage, let's go ahead and head there and put Bonnie's face on him and see if we can do anything else. I don't think we can, but we do still have these two items that I purchased, which I don't know what to do with. So, um, let's go ahead and inspect Bonnie. So let's go ahead and give him his face back, and then he should be good to go. So give Bonnie his face back. There you go, man. You, now you're going to look really creepy. Like, we've seen this before. This is not a sight that I really want to see, but, oh, God. Thank you. It's not even a thank you. It's just thank. Thank, man. Thank. All right, so let's inspect these two, because I, I want to see if maybe one of these items I got I can use on one of them. I don't think I can. Oh, we can tweak the music box. Oh, wait, no. That's what we are. Yeah, we did this before. So, um, yeah, let's just leave it alone. Because we have already done that. So now the only one left is Chico. Let's see what she has to say. Come on, anything we can do? No. no. Okay, we don't want to devour her her bird. You know what. Alright, let's just leave. <laughs> Wait, we, we can inspect the curtains. I don't remember this doing anything. I think this is where we found Bonnie's face. Yeah, this just gives us tokens, I think. The curtains are fine. What an effing waste of half an hour. Holy, you wasted half an hour? Oh my god. Thanks, man. That's what I want to do. Just shoot through half an hour. Oh. I keep actually searching instead of clicking leave because <laughs> I don't look at what I'm going to click. All right, so let's actually go to the restroom because there is still that bathroom we can go to. Okay, the cop. You. Mind if I have a word with you? I'm a little busy. Okay, yeah, what's up? We don't want to seem suspicious here. I'm a, okay. Okay, so he has voice acting too. Okay, an investigation? Okay. Five local kids have gone missing. Uh-oh. This is the last Uh-oh. to know if you saw anything. Uh-oh. Yes, yes we have. I saw Pearl Man murder five kids with a rusty hat. No, nothing much aside from the uh, odd shifty customer. Okay, let's uh, should we rat him out? I feel like this is going to end up getting us killed. Let's just do it. Are you having a giggle, mate? <laughs> Are you having a giggle, mate? <laughs> I love how he moves closer. He's like, "Are you having a giggle, mate?" I swear to God, if you are, I don't think that's wise. Oh my God! What the? No! No! Don't plant false evidence on me. So there really is an investigation. Weird. He just planted false. What? What? Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. What the heck? <laughs> This game is so random and just amazing. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here though. If you guys want to see more, drop a like on the video. If you're new, subscribe and also comment down below and head over to the second channel. If you made it this far in the video, head over to the second channel and put the comment buns. B U N S. That's the most random thing I could think of. Just put that on whatever the newest video is on that channel and I would greatly appreciate it. And it'll show you guys that you guys actually made it in the video. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.